What's up, folks? Welcome back to another daily scuttle, but it's not so daily. Uh, still got a little bit to go yet, but I do want to bring you guys in. And why? Well, I'm not to show you uh, kind of what's going on with the truck uh, here in a little bit, but I do want to come over here and, and show you. Well, we had rain, obviously. The uh, story of our life, right? The, this time of year, this area of the world. <laughs> uh, it just had rain, 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 rain. But look. So I dug one out a lot, lot deeper just to see how it would go. And I was waiting for a rainy day where we had some decent rain just to, to see what would happen. But that's kind of how deep all these were. Or how all of these are currently. That's the only one I've done. And I'm doing it by hand, right? So all of these we've done by hand. But I do think that that will be playing up. Because even going down, that's about four feet. Pretty close to it. And I'm still in clay. So it, it is... I don't know. I, I guess it's kind of like a, a shell clay mixture and that's kind of what is known for this area is shell and I really don't think it's going to move any one once we have you know an eight inch thick footer in there and then coming up with a column especially going down that far so I, I think at that point we're we're going to be good but because of the clay content is the reason why it holds water in those holes during a rain event <laughs> especially if we have a lot of rain and uh, i don't know if you guys can see her but we we've been you know clearing out stuff look at that cat peace don't i don't see if, if you guys can tell she's a little on the chunky side waddling so at some point this week, she should be having her kittens. There's one of those, she got prego when we went down to Texas. <laughs> but over here, so obviously until we can get some more materials, and I do want to say a, a humongous thank you to one of our subscribers that's they went ahead and, and purchased uh, all of the roofing materials required for the shed room. So all those tarps are going to be coming off of the shed room. We're going to be picking that up tomorrow. It, it's over at Lowe's. So we're going to go grab that. Because uh, we have to go to Fort Smith anyway. And then I went to go see Gumby. For a cherry picker so over there at junk gems went over there to their place to, to grab that for the truck so this whole engine has got to come out so because dad's going through and he was trying to get all of the uh, the bolts out of the exhaust and they were just breaking so I show you. See. So that that's what it's doing. And to be able to get that out of there, you need room to be able to drill that and, and do all those things. So yep, that means we gotta pull the engine out. So it is one of the things that we were kind of waiting on. Cause you can do all the timing and, and all that stuff. I have all the parts for that. We just haven't gotten to it yet. To be able to to redo all the timing stuff in the truck i already have that and i already have the exhaust manifolds the new ones but we were waiting to do the timing stuff for the exhaust manifolds because that's one of those if you can't get it out when it's still in the truck because of the bolts breaking which is known it's, it's well known for folks that work on these trucks that those bolts are are an issue mom had already had an issue with this previously because one of the bolts was already broken 
because there was a leak, right? One of the gaskets was already leaking on the passenger side. Hence the reason why I was going to just go ahead and replace these um, as, as it is, right? So at, at this point, because we're having that issue, we're going to go ahead and, and pull out the engine. I'd already got an engine stand borrowing the cherry picker. And then we're going to go ahead and, and do that. So, yeah. So when I was over at uh, Gary and Mary's property, well, not their property, at where they're staying at, right? They're still they're still over at Drew's place. But when I was over there, they're like, "Hey, we 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 need your assistance," because they they know that I've done it a few times, <laughs> which is electrical, right? So that's, that's one of the things, even though, you know, Gary is like a subcontractor and he's done a lot of things, he's just not as proficient with electrical as, as I am. So he asked for a little bit of assistance to be able to come over and set up his pole. So that's what we're going to do. And so you guys are getting a little bit of bean spillage of what's going on there and what we're going to be doing today. And then... But there's one thing that we can do, you know, since we're still waiting on materials, because we're we're still, you know, pinching pennies of going to my daughter's graduation. So until that happens, because we're not leaving until next week, right? So we're we're kind of trying to to save what we can, you know, and obviously, you know, driving an hour <laughs> out to their new place it is. Uh, added expense that we weren't thinking of but hey when the community needs help the community needs help so that, that's what we're going to do but one of the things that i was starting to do i don't know if you can see i got a pole on the ground so we're going to go ahead and and start working on getting this fence and stuff put in and i was coming out here to to gather up my stuff i was like you know what I, I remembered this morning after feeding the dogs that I had left my GoPro outside. And guess what? It rained last night. So, I mean, yeah, I know they're they're kind of, kind of waterproof and, and such, but... Man. That's why we can't have nice things, right? <laughs> That's why we can't have nice things. So it happens, and then you see us digging another hole. Yes, doing it by hand, and I, and within the video that's gonna be coming out with that, you know, it's kind of showing uh, y'all how how to dig in this rocky, hard, compacted clay soil, and it's it's not easy work, but how I do it, it, it does go by kind of quickly. So you're not you're you're kind of working smarter not harder uh, even though it is hard physical labor <laughs> uh, obviously it'd be a lot gooder right if we can use the tractor with the auger but until i can get the those hydraulic hoses replaced on little mac it's just uh, not going to happen so uh but there there is a place over in fort smith there's actually a few places over in fort smith that I should be able to take the, the hoses to and say, hey, can I get replacements for these? How much is it gonna be? So um, I, I might give them a call and, and just try to get like a rough estimate, you know, based off of length and kind of see what they do. Cause uh, I don't know, they, they might be able to do it by length. But I'm just gonna t take off the hoses, take them over there and say, hey, can I get this replaced? you know so we'll we'll see how how that's going to go but that won't be until after we get back from uh, going to Bethann's graduation so anyway that's what we got for you that's what's going on and once again outdoor kitchen was left open when it rained i keep telling these folks every single time if you're doing laundry when you're done doing laundry put it away they don't listen nobody wants to listen around here just 
uh, a whole bunch of stubborn folks. That's the story of my life. That's what I got to deal with every single day. But anyway, <sighs> man, hope you all have a great day. And remember to get out there and think veteran at every chance you get. Not only on Veterans Day. And we'll see you on the next one. Later, y'all.